Hello everyone and welcome back to Kiro's Workshop. This is the first video of the year and I really wanted to go back to what I love. Last year I was all about the glam and forget about the creeps. So let's make something kind of freaky today. While I was surfing on Instagram I found this illustration by a Mexican artist named Mauricio Macias. This is such a gorgeous silhouette. It is very mysterious yet powerful and romantic. 100% right on my alley. So I instantly knew that I had to make a doll inspired by it. Of course, I asked for his permission before doing so. Remember to always ask for the artist's permission before using their work as inspiration. And if you want to check out his work, I'm leaving his Instagram account on in the description box. For this project, I chose Rochelle Goyle as a base and tried shrinking the head with acetone for the first time. I'm glad it went great and didn't mess her up. Since I'm covering her face with a veil, the contour needs to be really dark so that it can peek through the fabric. Rochelle's eye mold looks kind of melancholic, so I'm contouring the brow bone higher to give her a fierce look. And well, we can't forget about the cheeks and the jawline. I'm highlighting the jaw to really make that contour pop. For the lips, I'm making them black. Pure black. Pure dark. Blush the cheekbones and off camera I'll draw the eyes. With black I'm darkening the lines and filling the scleras. I decided to make her eyes simple since the veil is covering everything and it won't be very visible. For the makeup I'm making a black winged eyeshadow and since Mr. Super Clear dulls the pigments that will take a few more layers, four to be more precise. With my eraser I'm cleaning up the eyeshadow to make it sharp. Off camera I painted the irises white. And now I'll highlight the nose with my chalk white pastel. With a new layer of sealant, it's time to continue building up the contour. And then I decided to take the wing eyeshadow up to the hairline, clean that up, and build up the color on the bottom lid. Add a new layer of white on the irises, and more blush. And the face up is done. For the clothes, I decided to make some latex sheets using liquid latex, and I love how flowy and organic it looks. I'm using this mermaid dress patterns from Digiriki and on Etsy, leaving the link on the description box. Cut those patterns on latex, and mark with white pen the hemline. The only way to glue latex is with more latex, so I'm adding liquid latex on the marked hemline and glue both pieces together. I'm doing so little by little, to avoid making a mess, and also line both pieces perfectly. With latex you have no windows for errors. Once it's dry it's almost impossible to fix things without messing it up. And here's the dress all glued on and on the doll. It's not perfect but I really love how it turned out and how sheer it looks. For the bottom part I made a circular latex sheet, cut a circle on the middle and marked the hemline of the dress so that I can glue both pieces together. For the hair I'm just painting it black using the mold of the hairline. Hair done, and I paint some edges to make it a little bit more playful. For the head veil I have a third latex sheet, but thinner. I made it with only two layers of liquid latex so that the makeup peeks through it. After I tried it on the doll I mark where the ears are. And now I'll cut it. As you can see I drilled two holes on the head near the ears, for the horns later. And now I can place the veil. And it worked perfectly. For the horns I made the armature with regular wire and also cut some bamboo skewers on different sizes for the candles. All my candles have a drill hole on the one side to place them on the ends of the horns. Now I'm taking my glue gun and on the opposite side I'm going to start adding glue to resemble melted wax. And there you go, tiny candles. Now I just have to repeat that nine more times. Now that they are done, I'm adding super glue on the wire and insert the candles through the holes I drilled. Looking pretty good. Now I'm covering all the wire with hot glue to give the horns more body. And I'm using the tip of the glue gun to add some texture to the hot glue. Once done, I'll start painting them. First of all, the candles. I'm going to paint them black. 
I've always loved this step where you can see everything merged together. And these tiny candles look very convincing. Since her skin tone and dress are kind of pale, and the horns will be black, I'm painting the candles copper, so her design has a color contrast. And these metallic paints never fail me. Now I'm painting the rest of the horns black, and off camera I dry brush it with gunmetal paint, and also added a few rhinestones to play with the texture and add a subtle shine to them. Sadly, the rhinestones are more visible in person. Now I'm stabbing the latex where I drill the holes on the head. Here are my finished horns. I also added the flames and painted them with blue, yellow and red. And finally, I insert them on place. For the shoes I got these Briar Beauty high sandals that I painted with the same colors of the horns and added a hint of metallic lag -like paint just to make the color palette more cohesive. To finish everything I was thinking about adding some flowers on the head, but it was looking kind of busy, so I decided to cancel the idea. So without this, she's finally done. What am I? fortune divinity. When I was making her, a backup story came to me. I imagine her being the fortune teller that our hero consults. She gives him the hints he needs so he can achieve his mission, only to be deceived by the end. She's actually been leading him to his demise, and reveals she's actually the main antagonist of his story. But I want to know what do you think about her. Let me know in the comment section. And well, that's a wrap for today. As always, don't forget to like this video and join the workshop by subscribing to my channel. Click the bell to get notified about new videos and follow me on Instagram at Kiros underscore workshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next time. Kiro out.